For the eclipse of 2017, we decided to go to the high desert of Oregon, to the little town of John Day, Oregon, so that we could view this eclipse along the path of totality. The line on the map indicates the path of totality. The little star indicates Beach Creek Summit along Highway 395, which is where we would set up to record the eclipse. The day before the eclipse, though, we went to visit the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument, a place I'd never been before. We are at the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument in Oregon, and that is Sheep Rock, which gives this unit of the monument its name. So the monument consists of three units. Sheep Rock, the one I'm at now, Painted Hills, and Clarno is the name of the other one. The next day, we set up at Beach Creek Summit, ready for the eclipse. We're in Oregon, waiting for the August 21st, 2017 solar eclipse. And here we're set up along the summit near the Mulhair National Forest. Camp at John Day, Oregon, County Fairgrounds. Just waiting for that guy up there to be eclipsed. Well, here's what we're experiencing people around us. It's gotten dimmer. The sun is almost totally eclipsed. And it's up there now. Still pretty bright, but it is dimmer. We're noticing this wavy cloud pattern up above us, so this is interesting. The eclipse is more than half way to totality, and look at these clouds. Okay, we got a eclipse showing on a whiteboard through a telescope. $30 telescope. $30? Oh. Oh, well, mine was 60 and I didn't even bring it, so <laughs> that makes the $30 a lot more valuable. <laughs> okay, I'll okay. get the tripod the cost more. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering if we'll get a breeze, like, uh, I bet on the edge you have bre yep. a breeze coming out. That would be good. Yep. The couple and the camper in front of us were from Ireland. They came all the way from Ireland to see this solar eclipse. And the day before, we were scouting this area out and we met two men from Germany who came all the way for the eclipse. So this attracted a lot of attention. It's not quite there yet. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and you but you still see a shadow. Yeah, still there, that's yeah. going to go. Shadow, yeah, that's amazing. I thought I had my shades on, but I haven't. It's it's like a diminishing smiley face. <laughs> I didn't get that dark on the prom that day last year. We had 93 percent in Ireland last year. Uh huh. And it didn't get this dark now. So, that, so that's this is probably 92. more than 92. Yeah. Yeah. We're only about three minutes away from, four minutes maybe, away from Potel. Yeah. Yeah. It still is a bright sun when you look toward it. <laughs> I think we've got it about 10, 23 or 24 it'll be total. Well, I think that's farther west, so so we're we're a couple of minutes after that. Isn't it? Yeah. Is that a star or an airplane? <laughs> that might be a star. Could be a planet. Or a planet like Saturn oh, wow. that was out last night. We're wow. look. Where? Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, all right. Oh, yes. What's the star? Well, I think the, the, the top, the one at the top, I think, might be Saturn. Oh, no, here's another one. Here's another one. Oh, another one. Oh, my God, look at this. Look at oh, this. Wow. It's almost there. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, my 
god! Did you, did you look, the diamond ring, the diamond ring! Oh, look at it! Oh my I god! Don't see the diamond, the diamond ring! ring. Oh, you don't need the shades for that out. look! Woohoo! Whoa! Oh my god! Now you don't need, oh, now you don't need shades. Well, that is fantastic! Wow! Oh, that is fantastic! Oh my gosh, this guy's super dark! I need to get this guy! Whoa! So this is what they call the corona. And yep, yep, yep. We're seeing the glow of the sun. Yep. And there are stars, and look, definitely. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's right. one. There's one straight wow. overhead that came out. Can it come out? Will I see it? Straight overhead, there's oh. one. The light? I mean, look. There's a planet. <laughs> I think that's Venus. It could be, yeah. Uh, oh, it's not going to do on my camera. No. Should be one. My camera wants to use the Oh, that flash. is amazing. Yeah, see, look at it. It's just a... Oh, there's some ice. Oh, look, it came through. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, that is amazing, though. Oh, that is cool. And you can see one of those kind of flares off on the just yeah. on the right hand side there. Oh look at there's no star. That's that's Venus. That's Venus. Oh my gosh, I didn't think you'd get this dark. This is the first time. When this was Wow. Oh, we got to take oh those God, pictures and fantastic. send them to REI. Because this is the totally. That is truly <laughs> worth coming for REI. Yeah. Any other stars about you? The animals are going to think it's, it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. Oh, now it's coming out. Ooh. Oh, the diamond ring is showing. Oh, now you need the glasses? Now you need the glasses again. <laughs> was that two minutes already? It was just so short. Yeah, just oh, short. man, look at this. Look, look around you, look around you, without the glasses. I know. <laughs> it's like a spotlight. It's, you can't see it with the glasses. That, uh, it, it, it covers it. The brightness. I set up a camera on the other side of the highway to record the scene as the solar eclipse progressed. Summit along Highway 395 in Oregon, north of Mount Vernon, and we just saw the 2017 August 21st eclipse. And lots of people are leaving now, heading out that way and that way. The eclipse actually is still happening, but uh, as soon as the uh, totality ended, people started heading out. So. You can see the line of cars. We're probably going to have to deal with them today on our way out of here.